So, Jerome, how are you feeling heading into the, the big game this weekend? Yeah, good. Um, should be good. We've uh, had a couple of good wins in uh, the last couple of weeks, and it's going to be a big challenge for us coming up against them. Uh, although they lost last week, uh, I feel like they're still the benchmark. So, it uh, should be a good test and a, a sellout up there in Brizzy. So, hopefully the Suncorp's not flooded, but it should be a good game. How, how difficult is it to retool the team a bit when you've lost Paps, you've lost Smith? It, it seems like it's going to be a fair bit of a change up for yeah, it will be uh, challenging losing those players, but you know I think we said it a lot before. We we have full um, you know faith in uh, who comes in and does the job, and uh, we'll have a good week of training this week. And um, you know we we trust those guys that's going to come in and um, you know the next man up mentality. Ryan's such a dynamic player. Do you have to tweak the way you play at all in terms of your game style to, to adjust? I know the next man in mentality, but do you? I mean, it's hard to replace a man of that ability, especially you know one of Ryan's. Capabilities. Yeah, well, uh, Means is going to play fullback, so we probably don't want to change too much. Um, you know, I know we're missing, um, you know, Paps, and he's got a certain way of playing. But if we change too much, we might. Uh, we don't want to change too much. We want to tweak the little little things, and um, hopefully Means can fill in there. But uh, yeah, we we're going to ch have to change a few things because obviously Paps is, uh, you know, one of a kind. But um, yeah, we don't want to be changing too much, um, you know, during the season. Mm. I guess it helps that. Um, Nick's been in such great form as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's going to take a lot, a lot of confidence and he's been great um, for the whole year actually. He's been thrown in a couple of different positions and um, I know he's normally a fullback, but he's played on the wing and in the halves for us so uh, it'd be good to get his time at, uh, you know, I feel like, which is, um, you know, the position he's played a lot in. Do you guys have to drop back a bit defensively and help him now and then or give him a bit of support as he gets used to again being that fullback or you feel like you can plug in there? I feel like he'll be all right. Um, you know, he's played there before, and um, I think that was his, you know, favourite position coming in through. So um, I think he'll be all right. We did, back him. Did he? He trained there a lot over the preseason. Yeah, yeah, he was there. Um, obviously, Paps had a bit of an injury in the in the preseason, so he's done a lot of work there, and um, we we have confidence in him. We think he's going to be fine. Just with, it, with a game like this, I mean, it gives you a great test. I mean, you test it every week, but this one really is like a finals type game. Do you do you feel that way, and does it feel that way heading in with the group the group's mentality? Uh, yeah, I think so. Especially with the sellout and the crowd, what the crowd's going to be like. You know, it's going to be loud, and um, you know, coming up against a good opposition. Um, you know, it's going to be finals like, I guess, and um, you know, depending on how, you know, we we need to play well, and uh, that's going to determine that. So. Uh, but we, we, we don't want to overthink it too much, you know, we probably, the bigger the game, we, the simpler the things get for us and, um, you know, just take our game plan into the game and try to um, try do that. In terms of the scoring, obviously finals type game don't tend to be as free flowing and high scoring. Do you, do you predict that for this weekend? I mean, are you still going to rack up the points, do you think? Oh, <laughs> we'd love to rack up the points, but, um, you know, I don't think that's uh, realistic coming up against these guys. They're, they're, they're great and uh, their defence is great. and. Um, you know, they, they're in it for the full 80, so I don't think there's going to be too many points and, um, you know, hopefully we don't let in too many points either. Do you think maybe there's a bit more motivation on the other side, given some, uh, some a video that, that has surfaced with the, potentially you were the chief protagonist, you know, are you yeah. across that and, and do you think there's yeah, anything in that? Yeah, I've seen that. Um, yeah, that was, um, I think they said it was in the, after we won the grand final and, um, yeah, I'll just... I didn't mean any disrespect by it. Um, you know, I didn't, didn't know I was getting videoed and um, had a few drinks under my belt, probably drank the last couple of days. So, yeah, there was no disrespect to them or, you know, anyone out their area. And, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm quite disappointed because I'm not that kind of guy either. Uh, and I don't want to be uh, looked at like that either. So there was no disrespect on my behalf. But, um, yeah, they're going to use it as motivation. I think they said they did that last year and they got over the top of us. So, um, you know, we, we just need to play our game. Mm. Did you know that that was the case last year when you, they were playing against you guys? That they well, did anything come up during the prelim final? Uh, I think they said a few things during the game um, to myself, but I didn't really know the full extent. Obviously, I didn't can't really remember what happened, but um, yeah, I think obviously I think they came out after and said they used a bit of a video. So um, yeah, like I said, I didn't mean anything by it. Um, you know, that's that's not me. That's not. That's not the type of person I am, but uh, yeah, I'm obviously disappointed. It gave them a bit of motivation because they ended up, you know, getting the chocolates over us. So. Just last one for me on that one. Have you spoken to any of the, the Panthers guys that you know to let them know that, you know, this is the actual feeling I have about it, and I didn't mean any disrespect? Ah, uh, nah, I haven't actually. So, um, yeah, I think they 
sort of made it pretty clear they were pretty disappointed by it. And like I said, um, you know, so am I. You know, that's that's not me, and you know, I don't mean any disrespect to them or you know any of their families or anything. So, um, yeah. So initially say. you were quite puzzled, were you? Like when they made the comments, you were, were you trying to think, what are they talking yeah, about? Yeah, 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 a little bit. Um, and then I think they come out with, um, you know, what happened. And obviously, like I said, I didn't really remember much of uh, the couple of days after the grand final. So, um, yeah, now I know what, what it is. Uh, yeah, I apologise. It didn't mean anything disrespectful by it. You played, at, you played at the back before, and I think it's like Nick's going to play there this week. But would you put your hand up to, to go to the back at all? <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> the coaching staff has said that, but uh, I just don't have the run of my legs anymore, mate. I'm getting old, and um, you know, the, especially this week against Nathan, he's got some pretty, pretty challenging torpedoes, and uh, I don't want to be under that. So uh, that's why I didn't put my hand up to play full back this, especially this week. <laughs> Do you um, practice those sort of kicks? For Nick, I suppose, like try to replicate what Nathan brings. Yeah, we will, but yeah, I think Nathan, he's probably the best at it in the game, and um, I think we got a machine that we can use, hopefully, <laughs> to um, interpret what what Nathan can do. But um, like a, um, a yeah, like yeah, one of those yeah, I don't know, ball ball ball, yeah, ball right. things. Do you yeah, have, do yeah. You bring that in like every week or ah uh, no, nah, not really. Um, we've used it in the preseason a few times, so um, we. Probably definitely need it with the the way Nate's kicking, so <laughs> hopefully it can help means out a bit. Sorry, mate. How, how do you reckon Nick will go at the back? He's obviously he's so versatile. He's played all over the back line so far this year. Yeah, I think it'd be fine, mate. He uh, we spoke about it before. He he trained a lot in the preseason there. Um, you know, he's played a lot of that position in the NRL before uh, at the Dogs, so um, I think it'd be fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, and we will help him out wherever we can. Can you tell us a bit more about Marion? Like he's had obviously a pretty hard road the last few years. Um, you've been a teammate of his for quite mm. a while, so it must be nice to see him named in the side. Yeah, it's good to see him um, playing. You know, he, he has had, had a pretty tough couple of years and a few injuries, and um, you know, when he, especially when he starts playing well, he's just had an injury that sort of ruled him out for a bit. So uh, it's good to, good to see him get his opportunity. Obviously, it's devastating to see uh, what happened to Remus, but um, to see Maz get his opportunity, and um, you know, hopefully he can take it. And um, yeah, I don't know how long. Uh, Remus is out for, but I think Maz is going to do a great job filling in there. Jerome, what have you seen from Xavier this season? And the growth, what sort of growth has he had in the group and his comfortableness with you guys and in the attack? Yeah, he's been really good. He's been real confident and um, I think just just how confident he is. Um, for such a young guy, I know it feels like he's been um, you know, in the game for a while, playing Origin and that. So uh, just the confidence though, like in um, just an example, just in meetings, he's He's always speaking up about you know his thoughts, and I know it can be pretty daunting being a young guy and doing that. And I know I would, wouldn't have done that when I was uh, young coming through. So um, I think yeah, just that confidence and just the willingness to learn and and help each other out. So he's he's been great for us, and uh, he's, he is still young, and still learning. So I'm excited to see how far he can go. The Storm have got like some great rivals. Well, it seems like you're rivals with most of the teams <laughs> in the competition. But is there something special about the Penrith rivalry, especially over the last few years? Yeah, I just think because they're the best, being the best team over the last couple of years, um, and we're sort of been up there as well. So, uh, you know, you always look at rivalries as you know two of the best teams, um, or two teams that are up there going head to head and um, having good battles. And uh, you know, we've had a couple of good ones in the last couple of years. So, um, yeah, it's I guess it's shaping up to be a bit of a rivalry. We don't really see it. I guess we're pretty when it comes to rivalry rivalries, we sort of. You know, we look at Craig keeps us pretty, you know, every week's a rivalry for us because we want to win. So, um, but yeah, it should be a good game this weekend.